we are still at full battery. So this might take longer than I thought. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, welcome to Sailing Soleil, my name's Andy, and today we're gonna review the electric version of my dinghy. I have an Aleco 8.4 inflatable. It's got the inflatable floor. Here in the marina and even when I'm on Catalina, I've used the electric and it works great. So um, it's nice not to have any fumes. It's super quiet and it's eco-friendly. I have a Newport Vessels 55 pound thrust electric trolling motor and a 30 amp hour lithium battery inside this uh, Newport Vessels battery box. And currently it's being charged uh, by this Victron Blue Smart charger. And I've got it on, uh, the mode is for lithium ion and it's currently in storage. So that tells you that it's fully charged. Okay, so let's go check out the dinghy. In this little battery box, we've got, I got it unhooked. I've got this little 30 amp hour, 12 volt lithium iron phosphate. So it's the LiPo 4 um, lithium iron phosphate battery, but it's only 30 amp hour. So we're gonna see how long that lasts with the 55 pound thrust Newport Vessels trolling motor. What I also have in here is this very inexpensive little solar charge controller. I'll replace it with a better one in the future, but right now this is just your old school, you know, regular solar charge controller, really cheapo, 20 bucks. And I have that hooked up to these cables so that I can put a solar panel on the back here, which I'll show you in a minute. And that will trickle charge as we are using the so it's a 50 watt solar panel. I put links in the description to all of these products so that you could view them on Amazon. And we're gonna see how long it'll go. So here we are, we're all buttoned up. Just got the terminals connected and you can see here that we're fully charged. And I did put this as an after, as an accessory, this fin, you can put on them. Um, it helps you turn a little better. And now we're feeding 50 watts into the battery as we use it. Okay, let's untie the dot lines and get out of here. Okay, I brought my iPad. I'm gonna put it in the uh, water bag here, but I'm gonna get the timer started. And you can see the timer's going there. So we'll put that in the bag and we are one, two, three. We are on the third level of power, three of five. So we'll see how that pans out. So you can see here, one, two, three. We're on the third level. I've got it kind of tightened so that it will hold my course wherever I want it to. The solar panel is kind of in the shade right now, but we're just gonna go up and down the marina until the battery's out, and then I'll row home. <laughs> I've also started an avionics track so that we could track the distance, not just the time. So we'll be able to track the distance uh, that we were able to go with this motor and battery at this setting, which is basically half throttle. minutes and we are still at full battery it 
see sometimes there's a lot of shadow on the solar panel so it's not always gonna do very well but yeah as we come around the corner there the solar panel just gets full sun we are at 25 minutes and 40 seconds and fully charged still so this might take longer than I thought I thought it last like 30 minutes maybe but um, Anyways, we are, again, we are at number three instead of five. I'm curious now. I also feel like if I went to number five the whole time, that it would heat up everything and maybe damage the box or some wiring or something. Okay, just checking in. We're at 34 minutes and uh, 50 seconds. So basically 35 minutes and it still says full. Family tides. This is a pretty cool boat right here. It's like a small tall ship. Maraca. I'd love to see inside that. So according to this, we're doing about two and a half knots. Still at full. And we are 40 minutes in, basically. Going, and it's been about the same speed, so two and a half knots. I wanted to do a drive-by on these yachts. It's just a row of really beautiful, nice sailboats right here. St. Jude. Ariel. With the hard dinghy hanging from the dad look, that's classy. Sun Dancer. Pierce Stoke. Sammy Boy. I don't see the name on this one, but I really like those colors. Enchantress. Mahimi Loke. Those are nice. Those are stylish. Man, I gotta clean my barbecue. Even that guy's barbecue is shiny. My barbecue looks like crap. And we are still on a full charge. So with that, I'm gonna leave the marina and go around, I believe this is Island Grissom, at one hour in, so in eight minutes, I'm gonna turn it up to level four. So here we're, we just went out of the marina on that, the small exit. I'm not sure where, what that would be. I guess that's the south exit. And then here's Island Grissom behind me. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go around and then back into the marina on that other main entrance. 55 minutes so far. All right, so we've hit an hour and it still says that it's full. We're almost all the way around Island Grissom here and uh, it's definitely more choppy and windy on this side of the island. This is the windward side. We're on the windward side of the island here and um, so I'm gonna turn it up to four and See how long that lasts. So let's turn it off. One, two, three, four. So now we're going faster. Oh, the fifth light is blinking.
some reason the sound on my GoPro stopped working, but right here I'm saying we're almost dead and that we are at one bar of power. And that's it, we are out. The battery is completely dead at this point and I have to row myself back to the slip. If you ask me, that was a pretty viable solution. A 30 amp hour lithium battery with the 55 pound thrust Newport Vessels uh, trolling motor. It lasted over an hour and a half and I feel like if you're gonna go to shore and back, you know, it's gonna definitely last as long as you need, even if you had it on five, you know, the maximum power. So I think that was pretty good. Um, this obviously wasn't a scientific review where we measured the voltage, measured the time and distance and everything super accurately. But I went out and I put it to the test for an hour, over an hour and a half. Came out to about an hour and 40 minutes between level three and four and it worked really good. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, please subscribe and like the video. Give me a comment if you have any questions or anything. Um, so I'll see you at the next one.